guys, what's up? Go back with another video. Um, so this one is uh, I'm gonna make two more. It's a how I state uh, state how I tape my knob video. I already got this other part on. It's the part when I take it off that didn't come off. So I'm just gonna tape over that. I'm just gonna probably use the rest of this stuff, which you saw in my in the bag video, and I'm gonna shoot that down and put it back on, and then we'll go from there. Whoever had this didn't use it the first time. Suck. So I'm gonna do a knob video now. And then I'm just gonna go back after putting my shoes on. Alright, whatever you do, don't do it like that. Because that's fucked up. Looks like you have a snail knob. Um, hopefully this part doesn't take too long. The scissors aren't very sharp. Um, so actually I probably should have done this one before. So the materials you're going to need. Are. One inch. This is what this is. One inch white tape, or I mean, I guess you could use. I use one inch. This is just personal preference. There's no certain way to tape knobs. Uh, this is how I got it this time. It's gonna be a hell of a lot better. Well, it's fine, but it doesn't matter. So, yeah. Uh, but there you go. It's a whole lot better. But um. So one inch white tape. I use camo tape for personal reasons. My brother's in the military and the team I play for. So I use camo tape, but you can't really see it because it's covered in blue. I call it gauze tape. Uh, and then red shin pad tape. Uh, and then I'll show you guys my knob. Um, and then on my blade, I use this. But this is one and a half inch tape. You guys can also use this if you. I use it on my knob because I only do half or my blade because I only do half of it and it saves room for me to get a lot more of it. And I've been doing that ever since I was thirteen. Um so just remember when you get the knob about halfway as big as you want it, stop. Because you have to use the other half unless you're fucking rich and can waste tape. So I actually didn't do a lot because I already had well I had some wraps already in the bundle. Um, because I didn't do it like that. Uh, if you're one of those super, I'm superstitious, but if you're like one of those super superstitious people and like you go around a certain amount of times, I try to go around 15 the first time, and I went around about five with that knob I already had on it. So I go around about a total of 30 times, but I hold my stick weird as well. I don't put, I only put the stick halfway in my hand. So I'll show you what I mean when I'm done.
So this is how cracked it looks now. And then you have to clean it out this time before brushing down the edges like that. And then taking your file and tucking it under the knob. Um, I do it about So this is what I mean when I say I hold my stick here. Like when I shoot my stick handle and stuff, I do it. Most people do it like this, where the knob is behind their hand. I do it like that, where it's halfway in my hand. Or actually, I normally put it in between my pinky, like right there. You can see the knob. That's how I normally do it. Um, and then. You're done with that white tape. Take the next tape you use. I use camo. And just go down as far down as you want. Doesn't as long as it's not like popped up, it doesn't really matter how this tape looks because you're taking it the same way I'm doing it. This is where it starts getting messy. Now you just take the gauze tape, whatever color you have, and wrap it around your camo tape. Make sure you get a full wrap around first, because that way you can cover up that camo tape. And then down sorry about that hold on guys my computer logged out sorry about that guys all right so you wrap around it keep going okay and then when you get to the end you want to pull out you always you always want to make sure you go through it through just because I don't feel like fucking it up, I'm gonna cut it. Normally I rip that. But I have been stuck before. Um, normally I have a sharpie around because I do something else to my sticks, but it's just dates that are important to me in my life. So it's not important. And then you take your red shin pad tape, and so it, sometimes it'll stay, but if you hit it just the wrong way, it'll come off. So if it's my pink colors, so I do it like this. Take your shin pad tape. I always go two. Make sure I I always overlap them because if yeah, and I'm not sure if this is with all of it, but I know from the clear tape and the red tape, it's always easier to tear the red tape. And then you want to learn how to. Yeah, there you go. Um, that's how I tape my knob. Like I said, I do a couple more things, but those are all superstitions. Matter of fact, since I've said it twice in this video, if you guys are watching this, comment what your superstitions are. If you play sports or just in life, as in like if you say, I know one of my friends, every time he hears, hears the word win, he has to knock on the other stick. Especially when you're not around here. But that's how I tape my knob. Thank you for watching, guys. Comment, rate, please subscribe. Bye.